In this problem, we're told a fisherman's scale stretches 3.6 centimeters when a 2.4 kilogram fish hangs from it. A, what is the spring stiffness constant? And B, what will the amplitude and frequency of oscillation be if the fish is pulled down 2.5 centimeters more and released so that it oscillates up and down? So let's go ahead and solve this problem first by drawing what's going on. So we have this uh, fish that's hanging, right? And so it's gonna be hanging 3.6 centimeters, right, from something. And it's gonna have, or its mass is gonna be 2.4 kg. So I'm just gonna draw a box. Just know that this represents the fish. So its mass is going to be 2.4 kg. All right, so this is what uh, we're told. And let's just go ahead and start with A. So for A, we're trying to find uh, the spring stiffness constant. So what is the spring stiffness constant? Essentially, uh, what that is, is they're trying to solve for K. So according to Hooke's law, we know F force is equal to Kx, right? And so what they're talking about here is uh, by the spring stiffness constant, they're talking about K. So this is the variable we have to solve for. And so F in this case is the force being applied, and then X is the distance, right? And so we know both of these variables. Or, well, we know X, right? X is the distance. Right, which is 3.6 centimeters that it's being pulled. And then the force, right? What is the force being applied here? Well, if we have something hanging, right, the force acting on it is just going to be the weight force, meaning we just have uh, the weight force, right? Which we know weight in this case, or the force acting on this is just mg, right? The force due to gravity. So the force here in this case is just mg, right? So we know mg is equal to k times x. So this is the formula we're going to use, and we can basically plug in the variables. But before we do that, we need to make sure this right here, 3.6 centimeters, is in meters, because we want k to be in uh, newton meters. So let's just go ahead and fix that real quick. So 3.6 centimeters, we want to convert it into meters. So what we're going to want to do essentially, right, is we know 100 centimeters, or there's 100 centimeters for every meter. So you're just going to want to uh, go ahead and divide it by 100, right? So 3.6 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.036 meters right so now we got it in meters and we can go ahead and solve so we want k so let's get k by itself by dividing both sides by x so the uh, spring stiffness constant is just going to be mg over x and so we know the mass is just 2.4 kg right so 2.4 kg multiplied by uh or yeah 2.4 kg uh, g is just gravity right 9.8 meters per second squared over x and so x is 0 0.036 meters so you just want to go ahead and plug this in your calculator 2.4 times 9.8 and then you want to divide that by 0 0.036 so you're going to get k equals 653.33 right so this right here is going to be the spring uh, stiffness constant and so you can just round i'm going to round to 650 so 6 650 and then uh, the units are newton meters or newton over meters, right? So this right here is your answer to A, right? You can round however you want, just make sure you do what your teacher wants you to do. Uh, now let's do B. So B is asking for two different things. Uh, one is gonna be the amplitude, right? So it says, what is the amplitude? And then uh, the second part is the frequency of oscillation if the fish is pulled down 2.5 centimeters more and release so that it oscillates up and down. So let's just go ahead and start with the amplitude. So uh, the amplitude in this case, if you imagine this like a wave, right? We're gonna be pulling it down right? Imagine this is the wave, right? We're going to be pulling it down to the bottom, right? The farthest it'll go down is 2.5 centimeters, okay? Right? So essentially what this distance here, if you know waves, this is the amplitude here, which is basically from your equilibrium or your center point all the way down to the bottom. So meaning the amplitude is just going to be the distance we pull it down in this case, right? So it's just going to be 2.5 centimeters. But yeah, so we know uh, the amplitude is equal to 2.5 centimeters so that's your amplitude you can convert that in meters if you want but uh, now we want to find uh, the frequency of oscillation so for this there's a formula you should know in order to solve for this and then we can just go ahead and plug the variables so uh, the formula for this is uh, the frequency f is equal to 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the square root of k over m so these are the different variables right we just solved for k in the last problem m is just going to be the mass which we know what the mass is and uh yeah so like we basically know all the variables for this we just have to go ahead and plug it in right and so uh yeah let's just go ahead and plug it in so 1 over 2 pi we're going to multiply that by the square root of k and so i'm going to use i'm just going to use the rounded value if you want the more exact value for your problem just plug that one in so 650 over the mass and so the mass we know is 2.4 kilograms so yeah so just go ahead and do this you want to do uh, uh, the square root of 650, divide that by 
right? And then divide that by two pi. Make sure you divide the whole thing too. And so when you do that, you're gonna get it equals 2.619 and so on. Uh, you can round to wherever you want. I'm just gonna round to 2.6. So it's gonna be about 2.6. And then what we do is we measure frequency in Hertz. So 2.6 Hertz, uh, yeah, so 2.6 Hertz, this is a Z. But yeah, so 2.6 Hertz, that's gonna be uh, the second part of B, right? So this is B, uh, this was the first part of B, right? So these are gonna be your answers to B. Uh, this was your answer to A, and hopefully you found this useful.